Friends, we are back for another read aloud. This is Frank, you know, we've read some Franklin books before. I'm sure we have. I love Franklin books. It's a great, um, they used to have a show. I don't know if they still do because I'm a little older now, but uh, I know they used to on the, I don't know if it's the Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or something they used to have. Uh, Franklin. This is called Franklin and the Tooth Fairy. It's written by Paulette Bourgeois. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, Brenda Clark. Now, I don't know about you, but I think if you haven't already lost a tooth, maybe it's coming. Usually it's kindergarten, first grade year. You'll start losing your teeth. If you haven't lost your teeth yet, it'll come. And then you'll get big adult teeth. I wanted to share with you really quick the story of how I lost my first two teeth. They were both dealt with food. <laughs> the first time I lost a tooth, I was eating a bowl of Cheerios, just eating, and then I bit down and it was something hard, you know, harder than the actual, oh. I'm like, oh, I almost chipped a tooth on it. It was my tooth. I pulled it out, there was my tooth. The second time, unless I'm reversing them, I lost my tooth. Have you ever had a fruit roll up? You know how you put it in your mouth, you bite down and then you pull it out? Well, when I pulled it out, the tooth went flying across the room to the other side. <laughs> so that's how I lost my first two teeth. I wonder how you lost your first two teeth. Do you have a funny story to share? Um, let's find out who lost their tooth in this fantastic book and if the food, bleh, and if the tooth fairy came for a visit. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He had lots of good friends and one best friend named Bear. Franklin and Bear were the same age. They lived in the same neighborhood. They liked the same games, but one morning Franklin discovered a way that he and Bear were different. Waiting for the school bus, Bear put his paw in his mouth and wiggled a tooth back and forth. It jiggled and wiggled and then with a tug, it came out. Look at this, said Bear. I lost my first tooth. Franklin was startled. There was even a little blood on the tooth. That's terrible. How are you going to tell your mother? Bear laughed. My teeth are supposed to fall out, said Bear. It makes room for my grown-up teeth. Franklin ran his tongue around his gums. They were smooth and firm and completely toothless. I don't have any teeth, said Franklin. It was Bear's turn to be surprised. <gasps> really? Wow. Franklin's friends shook their heads sadly. Too bad, they said. Franklin wondered why. He had never needed teeth before. Bear wrapped his tooth in a bit of tissue and put it in his backpack. I need to keep this safe, he said. Why do you think he's saving it? Why does it need to be kept safe? It fell out, right? All the way to school, Franklin wondered why Bear wanted to keep his old tooth, especially if he was going to get brand new grown-up tooth. Now that was exciting. Why do you want to keep your tooth? Asked Franklin. Won't you get a big one soon? All his friends looked at him with amazement. Don't you know about the tooth fairy? Asked Fox. Franklin shook his head. At night before you go to sleep, you put your baby tooth under your pillow. Then the tooth fairy comes and takes the tooth away, explained Fox. But that's stealing, said Franklin. Besides, what does the tooth fairy do with all those teeth? <clears throat> there was a long pause. Bear scratched his head, Fox swished his tail, and Rabbit twitched. I don't know, said Bear, but she always leaves something behind. One of her own teeth? asked Franklin. Everybody laughed. Oh, Franklin, said Fox, the Tooth Fairy leaves a present. Franklin wondered what kind of present a Tooth Fairy would leave. Have you ever gotten a present from the Tooth Fairy? I hope I get some money, said Bear. When I lost my first tooth, I got a new book, said Raccoon. I got crayons, Fox said. Franklin rubbed his gums. He wished he had a tooth to leave for the Tooth Fairy. He wanted a present too.
what did the tooth fairy leave you? Bear showed his tooth to Mr. Owl as soon as he got to school. Mr. Owl was very excited. Losing your baby teeth means you're growing up, he said. Franklin did not say anything. He had no teeth, but he wanted to feel grown up too. Franklin was quiet for the rest of the day. Hmm. Even at home, Franklin was quieter than usual. What's wrong? asked Franklin's mother. I don't have any teeth, he answered. Neither do we, said his father. That's the way turtles are. But I want teeth, said Franklin. His parents looked surprised. My friends get presents from the tooth fairy when they lose their teeth, said Franklin. Why do they get presents for old teeth? asked Franklin's father. Because it means they're growing up, said Franklin. I see, said his father. That night, just before bed, Franklin had a good idea. Perhaps tooth fairies did not know that turtles have no teeth. He found a tiny white rock to put under his shell. He asked his mother to help him write a note. It read, Dear Tooth Fairy, this is a turtle tooth. You may not have seen one before. Please leave a present. Franklin. Do you think he'll get a present from the Tooth Fairy? You think he could trick the Tooth Fairy? Franklin woke up very early the next morning. He looked under his shell. The rock was gone, but there was a note instead of a present. He ran to his parents' room. What does it say? He asked. Franklin's father put on his reading glasses. Dear Franklin, sorry, turtles don't have teeth. Good try. Your friend, the Tooth Fairy. Franklin was very unhappy until he noticed a big wrapped package near his breakfast bowl. Open it, said Franklin's mother. Inside was a beautiful book. Who is it from? asked Franklin. From us, said his parents, to celebrate your growing up. Franklin stood very tall. Thank you. I'll oh, see that. That shows good manners. He said thank you for his gift. Pardon the rip in the book. <laughs> from then on, Franklin didn't worry about being different from Bear. He knew that in all the important ways, he and Bear were exactly the same. So what did you think of the story? I thought it was a great story. Bear lost his tooth and all the kids started talking about what they got as presents from the tooth fairy. Some got books, some got toys, some got money. And Franklin was there and he had nothing to contribute because Franklin doesn't have any teeth. But he tried to trick the tooth fairy. He told his parents he really wanted the t uh, to have teeth because it shows that he's growing up. Well, he tried to trick the Tooth Fairy, he put the rock under his shell and hoped to get a gift and it, he wasn't left with anything. He said, nice try, but his parents surprised him in the end with a gift for him because they believe that growing up does deserve to be celebrated. So I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope that you'll come back next week for another Read Aloud. I will see you then, bye.